Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to do a quick review of the of an e-collar I purchased on Amazon. It's called the Pet 998DR-1. Um, you can see here, I have it up on Amazon. And let's go back here. So, basically what came in here is the collar or remote um, the device that is going to be used for correcting the the dog's actions it has um, these little prongs here uh, these are the smaller ones I already attached the larger ones um, we have the the wall charger with um, the USB connector um, that's where you would plug that in and then this is the vault this is what um, plug into your remote and into the correctional device. Um, also comes with um, the instruction manual and this little light here. I don't know if you can see that. But basically you would just connect them to the prongs here and when you would signal it to um, emit the shock or s stimulation it would um, basically light up and just to show you that it's still um, working properly. So basically I've been using this for about a week now and um, you see here um, you'll see see that you'll see the little the light on there blinking that tells you that it's it's on and I don't know if you can hear that but that's the supposedly like a little motion sensor and that's the way it activates when that little bead in there rattles. Um, so basically I've used it for a week and I have seen some results in my in my dog. Um, basically it kind of has three modes on it. Well I say three modes but let's see. If you look here on the remote press any button and it turns on. Um, so we have Right now I have it set on the, let's see if I can get that to zoom in. Well, anyways. Right now I have it set on the um, buzzard. It just makes like alarm noise. I'll just go ahead and give you a sample. So that's the noise it would make. And then there's the vibrate, which it goes all the way up to 100. And that's at the max. And this is the lowest setting. That's on. Oh. Let's try that again. And that's on the low setting. And then this is where it would you would have your stimulation on the dog, which I don't really use because I tested this out on myself first, and I tested it in my hand, and I didn't really feel anything. I, I mean, you feel something at a one, and then at a two, I felt something, but nothing really crazy. At a three, still nothing really crazy, but it was, it was in my hand. It was still like a, I could, it would be bothersome if I if I was to continue using. So I was gonna start off at a three. So then I tried it on my neck, I put it onto my neck and put on the leash, on the collar and everything, wrapped it on my neck and I started off at a one. And that had like a really, like a real kick to it. So I decided not to use this uh, setting for my dog. What's been working for me is the, is the buzzer setting. This freaks out the dog. And, but it, first day it freaked him out but now he understands that like when he hears this noise basically to stop doing whatever he's doing and so that's basically all that's um
comes with the box and that's basically a quick review of it. I'll do another video showing how to sync the, the remote up to the um, correctional device. Um, but that's about it for that and so yeah so I don't recommend using the stimulation device because that really does shock the heck out of you. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to do a quick review of the of an e-collar I purchased on Amazon. It's called the Pet 998DR-1. Um, you can see here, I have it up on Amazon. And let's go back here. So, basically what came in here is the collar or remote 